Good morning, everybody. It is November the 18th, and uh, I'm all dressed up. It's a Wednesday. Just got back from a prayer breakfast here in our area. Of course, it was online today. It's the Hampton Roads like, Leadership Prayer Breakfast or something like that, and I've participated in previous years and was asked to come back again today and give a, a response to the keynote speaker, which today just happened to be uh, Congressman Forbes. And so, uh, I, you know what? I just wanted to get back in the office real quick and do a quick video because in responding to him and, and all the things that's that hour long time of prayer was going on, the Lord was ministering to me during that time of prayer. I just came out of that thing fired up this morning, y'all. I just came out of that thing fired up. One of the things that I said in response to everything that he said, which is basically go fight for the faith, is, uh, you know, is, is God's exhortation to everyone who would, I, I think everyone who would do something for him, everyone who would lead, everyone who would serve, which is to be strong and very courageous. And I referenced Joshua chapter one. Uh, you might want to read that when you see this, but re remember Joshua chapter one, where Moses, the servant of God was dead and uh, Joshua had been commissioned to lead the people into the promised land. And it would be no easy, it would be no easy assignment because the promised land was filled with you know, many nations, some were fierce, some were powerful. And let us not forget there were giants in the land. There were literal giants in the land, uh, I believe, from uh, in reference to Genesis uh, chapter six. Uh, these giants, they were abominations, which is one of the reasons why their bloodline had to be totally wiped out and why Joshua's uh, command to go into the land and do some real damage was given. But uh, the Lord's exhortation to Joshua in Joshua chapter one a, a, a trifold uh, exhortation, because he said it three times. He said, be strong and very courageous. I have my Bible here. He said it in Joshua chapter, or in chapter one, verse six, he said, be strong and of a good courage. He said it in chapter, in verse seven, uh, only thou be thou strong and, uh, and very courageous. And then he said in verse nine, have I not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. And I guess I came out of the prayer meeting today, praying to God for more courage, feeling a bit more courageous, knowing that the battle in front of us is going to be fierce. Uh, there's a lot of evil in the land. There's a lot. I mean, I was just thinking coming in today, uh, just today on this beautiful Wednesday, as I record this, some two to 3,000 babies will, will die in an abortion clinic today in our country, their little bodies torn apart. I was thinking about uh, how how we lost marriage, how how we're losing babies, how we've lost how we've lost gender, how we've lost all the the fundamental fights. They've all gone down in flames, but the Lord is able to restore. But I was I saw so I was thinking, Lord, what do we have to do, you know, to to see reformation and revival in the land? Well, obviously we have to preach the word and we have to stand upon the word. And we have to preach it in season and out of season. We have to rebuke and reprove and exhort with all long suffering and teaching, right? We have to we have to raise up holiness again. We gotta live holy lives, circumspect lives according to the word of God. We gotta be courageous in our homes to teach our children and courageous. Oh, I tell you, I feel so good. Courageous in our homes, courageous in our churches, being a courageous church member, well, where, where you build life around the ministry of the church and where you you take your children and, and you bring them into the house of God and you make the Lord's day the, the greatest day of the week and we're courageous in classrooms, right? Where we're teaching our children and overseeing their education and simply not allowing unbiblical thoughts and worldviews and presuppositions to get into the hearts and minds of our children without a fight. I don't care if you homeschool or wherever you are, you know, you are responsible. We are responsible for what our children are learning. And that's going to take courage. It's going to take courage to do what we need to do. I'm not talking about being mean. I'm not talking about being unloving. I'm not talking about any of those things. I'm not talking about uh, you know some kind of judgmentalism or or fair circleism or or legalism or any of those ugly ugly church isms. We don't want any of that. We're just talking about courage to stand. And and, and beloved, there's a reason why I think God told Joshua three times uh, to to be courageous. Well, perhaps Joshua was afraid. He looked out upon the landscape and looked out on his assignment and went, Lord, there's no way. How are we going to do this? Uh, you know, be thou strong, son. Be of good courage. Be careful to do all that I've commanded you to do. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left hand, and I'll be with you, saith the Lord, right? Be courageous. And for us to really see reformation, friends, particularly those of you at Calvary Reformation Church, but for all of our friends, for us to truly see reformation, we're going to have to be uncomfortable. We're, 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 we're going to have to be willing to adjust life. We're going to have to say some things sometimes with a smile on our face and love in our hearts, but some things that are directly contrary to the prevailing winds of the day. 
we're going to have to we're going to have to be willing to be steadfast and unmovable and abound in the things of God. It's it, I, and maybe I'm, I'm encouraging myself in the Lord today. I went back and listened to one of our messages yesterday called the high cost of following Jesus. I really recommend it because uh, I, I remember I remember preaching it, but, you know, it's amazing. Even you can listen to your own stuff and don't remember half the stuff you said. And went, wow. Uh, but but it's a time for courage. It's a time to be strong and courageous, to be bold in the things of God. They Look, the, the devil's people, you know, the enemies of God, the principalities and powers, they're pulling no punches. And we can still be loving. We can still be gracious uh, and be bold at the same time. And And I was so fired up coming out of that because, you know, it's almost like I feel a new wind blowing. You know, I, I went through, I don't know if y'all, those of you who've been around our church a while, but I went through a time where I wasn't so bold. I wasn't so courageous because the time before that, when I was bold and I was courageous, it just cost me so much. It was such a price uh, to be paid for trying to save little babies or trying to rebuild marriages or trying to re rebuild the church or or, 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 or saying anything contrary to the, to the prevailing kind of things, you know, to, 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 to literally be in position sometimes to read a scripture and to, and to get, you know, those faces that Ezekiel talked about. I remember that. And, uh, and, and I lost some of my boldness and I lost some of my ability to be courageous, but i tell you what, if the Lord tarries y'all, let's just let it all go for Jesus. Let's be willing to give up anything and everything we need to uh, to to preach his word, to live according to his word, to communicate his word with other people. Uh, Calvary Reformation Church, it's time. It's time to start ministering to people again. I know we're still in the midst of the COVID thing, but you can you can you can send them a link, right? You can send them a link. You can watch with them. You can set up a watch party, right? Or you know, for some of you who will, you can come on. You can come on the service. Uh, I have no intention of shutting down the church again. Uh, and so, so even if it's just me preaching, and uh, and so you get the and, and my my wife singing, we're we're gonna be up in here, uh, doing what we need to do, so that you get the word of God, and uh, and you get the precepts of God, because we do love you dearly, and so. Uh, beloved, I just want you to know it, it's time to be strong. It's time to be courageous. It is time to to touch your neighbor and to send that email to your friend. It's time to really lock in. It's time to it's time to go back over your church covenant, no matter what church you're part of. Go back over that stuff and and look at it again. Hopefully, it's hanging on your wall. Go back over it again. Look, look at it again. It's time to be courageous. We can disagree sometimes on some things. Uh, I was telling uh, somebody just the other day. That, uh, you know, that that there's no way you're going to walk in complete agreement all the time. You know, the, the part of the nature of the church, I mean, I say things all the time that people don't. I've been saying for 20 years, stop borrowing money and, and, and uh, you know, be, be careful with that. Uh, but nevertheless, there's still this idea that we gather around the precepts of God. Sometimes something you don't agree with now, you'll catch it five years from now. So you hang in there. Right. But we, we can't even let that stop us. We need to lovingly walk with our brothers and sisters, even when they disagree. But we need to be bold. You know, we're at a, we're in, a, we're in an age where everyone's so in, interested in being winsome and nuanced that you don't even know what was said. And so I, I don't want to be that preacher. I don't want to be that pastor. You don't even know what I said. I want to I want to be bold in the things of God. I want to say what the Bible says and then the stuff that the Bible doesn't say. You know, we, we don't want that. We want what God says. And so I want to be bold again. And I, my promise to you guys is that uh, with, with as much love and grace and fun as we can muster, the word of God will be preached. The word the, the worship of God will go forward. Uh, whether it's online or, or here in the house, uh, and we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this thing together. So you be strong. You be courageous. Yes, there are giants in the land. Yes, yeah, crazy out there. Yes, you might be facing a giant in your home, a giant with your children, a giant in your marriage, but you be strong. You be courageous in the Lord. You serve a God who can really change things. He's the one who calls the end from the beginning. He is our God. And as we've been learning on Sunday, he is good. So I hope to see you on Sunday. I, I, I can't remember being this enthusiastic about our church and our ministry in a very long time. It is a joy to stand before you and preach the word of God and, uh, and hopefully uh, model something that looks, that looks like a preacher ought to look. Uh, but you be encouraged today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what report you receive, no matter what you see on the news, be strong, be courageous. God's got you. Don't go to the left hand. Don't go to the right hand. He said he'll be with you wherever you go.